Hello guys, Diko here. Today I'm going to show you my combination lock. It's order sensitive and it's infinitely expandable. Either the amount of buttons or the amount of yeah clicks you need. Whatever the hell you need, it'll fit. And um, yeah. So this is a little demonstration. Oops, that was the wrong lock. Yeah, it was right. Yeah, so as you can see, turn on. You can click pretty quick. So, that'll reset, and there we go. Oh God. And it still works. Or, well, partially. Whatever, it does work. And, well, as you can see, I just did already put this wall of buttons. And over here, I have it directly behind the wall. But you can also have the buttons like this, with the repeaters directly behind it. So, yeah. Then, uh, in this video, I'm going to do four clicks as an example. And it's going to look like this. So, every line with the repeater in front is one click. And at this point, if we have, wait, one more, if you have these four bits with the repeaters in between, we can start configuring our code, our lock. And I'm going to do 5, 3, 4, 4, 2. So that'll do it. And at this point, we'll just, from these torches, we need a signal going to the right or either the left and go to the right and you need to stagger the repeaters so the first is not going to have a repeater the second is and it's going to look like this then the third no repeater and the fourth no repeater so it's a bit staggered yeah works it's awesome and you can use it pretty quick So, these bits of redstone are going to run into torches, and then extend this out by two and place redstone, and then at this side, torches like that. Place blocks underneath the blocks that the torches are attached to, and place redstone underneath the torches. So this is going to be an RS nor latch. Torches at this side like that. So these are for RS nor latches. And from this torch you're going to have a repeater on two. It's gonna also be one I guess, I don't know. But I do two. And what this does is when this turns on and this one is activated, it'll unlock the next one but if this one turns off well it won't turn off anyways because it's been powered by the previous latch and that's basically how this lock works it's very simple but yeah that's locks um yeah um lock here and over here in the middle you need two repeaters like that for the block in the middle and they will always power the next bit of redstone that goes into these torches and at this point we need to um, yeah we're going to do this everywhere and everywhere except for the block that has a torch on top for the red make it power this line of redstone and what I mean is that this repeater should not power the redstone because there's already a torch on top. But this repeater should because it's not part of the code. So this line is going to reset or lock. So, 
Yeah, I'm just from here I'm going to do it. And here you need to stagger it too a little bit. So let's see where the torch is placed. And then the second one. So we just do this. And then we run the redstone down so it's not being powered by that second block. And put it here. And another bit of redstone. And that that torch is going to power this repeater. And then that block that goes into this block and it'll invert this torch. And so when this turns on, it'll go through here and it'll power this dust. So do the same over here. The torch is in the middle. So in the middle, you need to bring the redstone down so it's not been powered by that block. Like so. Redstone here, like this. And then the last one, it's just first, so we need to put it like this, then run down, then like that, and this is going to power this repeater, I'm going into a block, put a torch on the side, and you can actually take off this redstone, but you should get it. So we are basically done, and you can also make it go the other way around but whatever and now the first torch is our first button so it's going to be 5, 3, 4, 2, 5 and as you can see it turns on this dust and activates this latch and then it was 3 so as you can see it deactivates this latch and it turns on this one then it's going to be 4, and it does exactly the same, and then 2. And now this one turns on, and this is the last bit. So, this is going to be your output. You can either take an output from this torch, or from a repeater over here. So we can just take a signal from this. So yeah, that was my combination lock. I hope you like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.